So we had some wholesome royal news today with King Charles releasing some lovely new photos and a new video and saying he has been cheered up by the over 7,000 cards of support sent to him as he continues his cancer treatment including lots taking a more humorous view and making the king laugh. They included this dog card saying, quote, at least you don't have to wear a cone, which apparently gave the king a good chuckle, and other messages, people sharing their own experiences of cancer and wishing the king a speedy recovery. The king has described being, quote, reduced to tears by the cards sent to him, but these latest photos and videos on social media also show him smiling at cards that were determined to look on the bright side, and in any case, it is clear that Charles was really touched by each and every letter that he received, which was lovely to see. And according to Palace Aids, despite the health concerns over the cancer diagnosis and the obvious kind of downcast mood that it would put one in, there has been frequent laughter from the king, with the dog card particularly amusing Charles. The card's senders are not being named, but the firm that made the card, the dog card, Pigment, told the BBC it was one of their best sellers which had been customised with the king's name, and they had, quote, hoped it made the king smile. A selection of the messages of support are being put into the red boxes which hold the king's daily paperwork, with one card saying, quote, I wanted to tell you I'm thinking of you as you face your own diagnosis and treatment and send prayers and every good wish for a speedy recovery. So it seems like as King Charles continues his official duties as head of state from home, you know, receiving the red boxes and doing government paperwork and signing documents, he is also receiving daily card messages and letters and things like that put in by aides that give him that really nice daily boost and reminds him that the country is behind him and supporting him as he's trying to get through this cancer diagnosis, including another letter that held a wonderful message to the king to, quote, keep his chin up chest out, remain positive and don't let it get you down. Trust me, it works, but the main thing is family. And we have seen how the royal family has rallied around the king with, you know, Queen Camilla and Princess Anne and Prince Edward and even Sophie Duchess of Edinburgh. Everyone is taking up some more duties and it's lovely to see the royal family really rally around and it's a really strong show of support for the king. So a number of the messages the king is reading are from people who are facing up their own worries about cancer, you know, people from the public who have also experienced this. And indeed, Rebecca Stead from Macmillan Cancer Support told BBC News, quote, Hearing the news that you have cancer is a huge moment in anyone's life and there is no right or wrong way to respond. Going through waves of different emotions is completely normal. We do know, however, that many people will experience uncertainty or worry. This could be about practical matters such as paying the mortgage or being confused by the treatment being given, she says, urging people to get advice. And this is why King Charles was so praised for being so open as he was about his own cancer diagnosis. You know, we saw in the past how King George VI's doctors hid his lung cancer diagnosis from even the king himself as well as the public, and that did not go down well at all. So the king has really been praised for helping to remove some of the taboos around the disease. According to Macmillan's, the king's public acknowledgement of his cancer prompted a surge in people seeking information. Indeed, Macmillan's online information pages had 50,000 hits on the day of the king's diagnosis being announced, which is a huge 40% extra increase on usual. And of course, we saw also the NHS website saw a massive inflood of people coming to view it, as well as during his prostate surgery, people were researching that as well. So King Charles has really been praised for how open he has been and hopefully it has done a lot of good about people researching this and removing some of the taboos from people who have these issues as well. The king remains kind of stepped back from public duties, but has continued with the work of a head of state, as I said before, including regular meetings with the prime minister, meetings with the Privy Council and all the work he does with his red boxes. The latest pictures released by Buckingham Palace were taken on Wednesday ahead of a meeting with Rishi Sunak and when the Prime Minister said how well the King looked he deflected it with a joke as he so often does saying it's all done with mirrors. So humour has often been deployed by the King who was a, actually a long-standing fan of the goons and took part in comedy shows at university and I think to me anyway he's actually such a funny and wholesome man so it's good to see him using that humour that he has come so naturally to him to get him through his current struggles. 
and of course in his current circumstances the king has said to be very moved by the handmade cards, especially from children, including the messages to never give up, be brave, don't push his limits, and to get well soon. So let me know what you think of these lovely new videos and photos released by King Charles today, and I'd love to know if anyone watching the video today actually sent a card or a letter or a message to the king, anything like that, let me know in the comments. So good to see the king looking well and happy and cheerful after seeing all these messages. So comment below, whatever you like, what do you think of the video, did you send a message to the king, things like that, what do you think? And while you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching.